how long have you been working for Nintendo? So I joined so Nintendo in 1984, in which makes it 25 years since I've been working here. What does your current job at Nintendo entail? I mostly supervise the Nintendo sound engineers and composers and the music that they make for Nintendo games. I also compose music for games. I also cooperate with the production of hardware. So when Nintendo as a company are thinking about producing new hardware, they, they also consult with Mr. Condor. I asked Mr. Condor for some examples of music that he has composed himself for video games recently. DS Zelda no I recently composed for the, uh, the Zelda game for the DS, the Legend of Zelda uh, game, and also um, on the Mario side, the most recent game that I composed for was Super Mario Galaxy. What projects have you currently been working on? Are you currently working on? And unfortunately, that secret information cannot be answered at this moment. Where did you get the idea for the music for Mario? Once the game was in development and there was a playable version, I would play the game and I feel by playing the game, the rhythm of the game um, and the feeling that the game uh, engenders and that's, that's where he got the idea for the music from. So playing the game, feeling the rhythm of the game and, and the feeling that the game gave him. Do you work with Mr. Miyamoto to create music for the Mario series? Mr. Miyamoto doesn't directly compose music. He'll ask me to make a certain type of music or tune for a particular game or for a particular scene in the game, and then I respond to his wishes. Uh, your Mario theme tune is world famous. What do you think of this? Well, I'm very, I'm very happy and very humbled that uh, people think um, that people uh, still enjoy this music uh, 25 years on. Uh, I've seen on YouTube many different people using many different instruments to recreate the tune that I, that I wrote and uh, it makes me very happy to see this and, and the fact that it is so well known worldwide um, even after all these years. So yes, it makes me very happy. How do you create the music? Do you do it before you see the game or after? I usually hear from a game director, or director of a game, that I'm going to make this type of game. There's a lot of talk, a lot of concept work on paper. So I take an overview of the whole game and already starting composing or thinking about the music. I really need to be able to play the game in order to make uh, the proper score. So it has to be completed or very close to completion and I'll play it and then, then I can get down to the nitty gritty of actually composing the music for it. Do you soundtrack a game in the same way that a film score is recorded? No, um, a film score is, is, uh, has a different process. For the game, everything runs off the computer, so um, there'll be a section of the game that's completed or very close to complete, and then I would really get uh, um, into the nitty-gritty of composing and writing uh, score and individual instruments for that particular musical uh, scene. And once I was happy with what I had, I would put that into the game, and then we start the fine tuning. We play the game over and over again to make sure the music matches and the mood matches. Um, so we do a game in components. So uh, uh, you have a you have a game, and it's made up of various scenes, and I would add the music for each scene in a sequence. What influences are, are to be found in the Mario soundtrack? Well, I can't name a specific artist per se, but I do listen to, and I do listen to what younger people are listening to in terms of pop music, Latin music, jazz music, and I guess it does influence me in a way, so because it's what I'm listening to, and I, and I, and I make sure to ask people what they're listening to. How long does the composition process take? Yeah, I, I probably take the longest of all the people here in Nintendo to actually put a piece of music together. It takes a month for two or three minutes of music, so it takes quite a while to put these, these compositions together. Have you created the music for all the Mario games? Well, um, actually no, I, I, I was composer for all Mario music up until and including the Nintendo 64. Since then, I have worked together with other Nintendo musicians to make the music for Mario games, or I've supervised them as they made them the music for Mario games. How has the music changed over the years that he's been in charge of Mario's music? For all the games, the, the, the common theme is that they have to be fun to play. 
Uh, that's true that's 25 true. years ago and it's true now. That's so that's something we all keep in mind when we're okay. making new music. Yeah. What's changed is the hardware, um, the things that these games run on, and the tools that I use and the team uses to make the music. Um, we've been very lucky. We've got um, much more expression now in sound with the new tools and the new hardware. And uh, the wide range of expression that we have obviously makes a difference to the way that we create music and the music that we can create for these games. What um, other game music did you compose? The ones you, you heard of would be Legend of Zelda series and also Star Fox. How did you get into composing? I used to attend an Electon class. It's a small keyboard that uh, Japanese kids would play with. Uh, it was a school to learn how to play the instruments, and one of the lessons was on composition, and I, and I really found that very interesting. So I started to compose my own pieces. Um, there were local contests that you could enter with your own compositions. Since then, I, I've never looked back. What kind of music do you listen to as a private person when you finish work at Nintendo and go home? Recently, um, I've been listening to a lot of jazz, some Latin, but uh, um, most recently, I, I've been I've rediscovered the classics. And uh, I asked him, well, who in particular do you listen to? And he mentioned uh, Rachmaninoff, uh, piano concerto. So uh, that's that's what he listens to at home. Which kinds of music inspire you? Uh, I couldn't put a finger on a particular genre, but uh, I'd have to say anything with a, with a nice melody, with a clear, nice melody, is something that uh, uh, will stay with him. Um, so in terms of inspiration, that's something that uh, uh, will always stay with him and inspire him. How important do you think music is in games? What role does it play? It plays a very, very important role. It's essentially the vehicle for uh, conveying emotion. It adds the emotion felt by the game, or the emotion conveyed in the scene, or the, or the battle, or whatever it is that's being played out on screen. It adds to the fun of the game, how well the music matches, how appropriate the music is. And also, in the long run, how uh, someone that's played a game will remember that game, how long they'll remember it. And and how that memory will be. Uh, the music plays a huge role in that. Um, those games that you remember for a long time, often it's the music that plays a vital role in, in them being remembered. What was his involvement in the, uh, the new game for Wii that's coming out late November 2009 in Europe? I wasn't directly involved in scoring this particular game. Basically, all my old favorite tracks are in there with new arrangements, and uh, uh, there's a lot of work being done for the music to match character movement and to add to the enjoyment of the game. So he, he's uh, very excited and, and hopes that people will enjoy the music and the soundtrack of, the, of this game. I asked Mr. Kondo about um, the, the work of the sound effects and uh, the score, the soundtrack. Well, you know, back in the, back in the old days with the old um, NES and um, Super NES, uh, he also was in charge of sound effects. Now they have, in the sound department, they have a, a separate section for sound effects, but uh, they have to work very closely with the, the soundtrack people make sure that the stereo balance is, is um, matching and also that the, the sound effects don't get in the way of the music, that they complement the music and vice versa. So that's a very important process.